Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the time my two boyfriends met each other. What are the odds? What are the odds? I also have, look at this y'all, a bowl of fruit, an actual bowl of fruit. So in here I have two of those little tiny oranges. I have some fresh cut pineapple, a small honey crisp apple, and the only blueberries I had were frozen. So I thawed them and I'm gonna be eating this delicious bowl of fruit while I tell you my Gavin story. I'm also using a spork from Bojangles. Mmm. Well, that pineapple is so sweet and juicy. Well, what do you know? I start eating and just dogs appear. Okay, so today's video is going to be the video of the time when I met Gavin Rostell. <sighs> Even saying it to this day, I still can't believe it happened. What you must understand, first of all, for those of you who have no idea who Gavin Rossdale is, go Google him. He is the lead singer of the band Bush, which was really big in the 90s, a kind of grunge band from England. I was absolutely obsessed with the band and Gavin in particular when I was about 16 years old. I had multiple posters on my wall. I bought every magazine he was in. This is when we were still using VCR, so I recorded every performance like um, on like the late night shows. If they were going to release a new music video, I was homeschooled all the way through high school. So I would make sure that I scheduled it. <laughs> I would make sure that I could run downstairs and watch the downstairs MTV whenever they were going to premiere a new video. I was obsessed. I went to several concerts. And I just loved Gavin so much. I think it was because he was, well to me, he was incredibly attractive. <laughs> and he had that British accent. It was like... It's like he was confident, but not like cocky. You know, he was a little laid back. I just love the man, okay? So anyway, fast forward to 2015. <laughs> oh, and there will be video footage, so stay tuned. There will be video footage. Now, as the years have passed, I haven't been, I haven't even been keeping up. They would release albums. I didn't even know they were still making music, that kind of thing. But, um, but one day I saw that Bush was coming to Raleigh. So I was like, oh. I gotta do it. I gotta be there. Because it was right after my birthday. My birthday is April 29th, and I think this concert was on May. No, it was right before my birthday. It was March 4th. March 4th, 2015. A day that lives in infamy. Boop, 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 boop. And so they were coming to the Ritz in Raleigh, which I knew right away I wanted to go because I knew that the Ritz was a really small venue, so if anything, you would be pretty close to the stage. And the tickets were relatively cheap, I think like 20 bucks. So I was all excited, ready to go to this concert. Now look, now I thought I was looking pretty cute. I, I had no expectations. We didn't have like backstage passes. I had absolutely no idea that I was going to meet Gavin Rossdell at the end of the night. Had I known, things would have gone and looked a lot differently. <laughs> I thought I looked pretty cute leaving the house. I just threw on a skirt, I put my hair in a braid. Nothing fancy, but I thought I looked cute enough, right? So Spencer and I get to the concert, and you know, your endorphins are going, you're getting excited, the crowd's pumped up, you go ahead and get you a few drinks. And we got there not really early, but we got there early enough that we were like, could touch the stage. I was getting more and more excited. <laughs> And of course, there were bands before. I, I don't remember anything before Bush came out. <sighs> Let me tell you something. When Gavin walked onto that stage, and now his band members are not the same. Bush has changed band members, so I'm not like as familiar with them. But when Gavin walked onto that stage, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I mean, this man, in my brain, has been my boyfriend since I was 16 years old. I have loved him forever. 
and now there he is in the flesh. Oh, I was so excited, so excited. So the lights go down, they come on, it's loud, you're having a little sippy sip, you're dancing around. It was an indoor event, but once all the people started <laughs> cramming in together, it started getting hotter and hotter. So like two songs in, I'm already sweating, my hair's down. I'm just looking a hot mess, but I don't care because it's dark in there. And Gavin is like, if you put your hand out, you could touch him. I was just having the time of my life. The concert was fantastic. They sang a couple of new songs, but mostly all the old ones that I knew. So I was just dancing around, singing all the words. Everybody was having a good time. It was really a fun concert, but it was also probably fun because I was reliving my my youth, you know what I mean? I'm getting a peen. <laughs> I love how the dogs are so interested. Okay, so the concert itself was really good. I was really excited. Hopped up. It was just fantastic. He came out into the crowd. Son, I made a beeline straight towards him. <laughs> and I'm 6'1". You gotta remember, I'm 6'1". I'm a pretty big girl. I was heading straight for him. I got so close to I touched his shoulder and thought I would faint. I had finally touched the man of my dreams, aside from Spencer. So, and Spencer was so good about it. He just knew that was my dream forever. He was just excited that he could be with me to experience that moment. So he was really cool about it. I thought the highlight of my night was gonna be when he tossed a guitar pick and I called it. You know me with my 6'1 high, I just reached up there and grabbed that pick. Oh my gosh. I was so excited from having experienced what we just experienced and having the guitar pick and having touch Gavin and just, it was just so much fun. But I looked like a hot mess. I mean, I feel like I look like a sewer rat. My hair had come out of the braid so it was all like just flat and half curly, half not. My makeup was running, my mascara was down to here. Of course, I knew my hair was down, but I didn't know my mascara was all down here. Spencer could have told me about that. So anyway, we were headed towards the car, getting ready to leave. And Spencer was saying, oh, that was fun. Did you have a good time? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I started seeing some people drifting off to the left. Instead of going to the parking lot to the car, they were drifting this way. And I was like, I wonder what they're doing. And then I saw the tour bus parked behind the Ritz, the building. So I just kind of like meandered over there, trying to see what they were doing. Well, there was only a group of probably, I don't know, 10 to 15 people. So I said, Spencer, let's just go over here. What, I mean, we can just probably catch a glimpse of them getting on the bus and just wave at them and, you know, let's just see what happens. So we just started talking with some people out there and, you know, just talking about the show and, um, can't really remember who all was out there, what we were talking about, but you know, just chit-chatting. So we were out there probably about an hour. And the whole time I was just thinking, oh my gosh, if I see him go to the bus, I'll be so excited. You know, just to catch one more glimpse of him before he leaves. Well, I, like I said, I just had no idea, and you'll see in the video what, what, what was on my mind when I met him. But I just had no idea that <laughs> I looked quite as bad as I did. And I'm not sure why Spencer, that's why you need a girlfriend to go with you. She would like fluff your hair, you know, fix your makeup. Spencer just let me look like a hot mess. I'm thinking Spencer didn't tell me on purpose because by this time, um, Gavin and Gwen Stefani had just separated. Mm -hmm. And Spencer hadn't put a ring on it yet, so. So yeah, saying there's a chance. So anyway, we waited around about an hour. All of a sudden, out walks Gavin. And everybody was just stood up and started staring and waving and cheering and clapping. And instead of going towards the tour buses, he was coming over towards where the people were. Oh my gosh. So like I said, there was only about 10 other people there. So it was a very small crowd. So once he was over there, you already felt like, <laughs> you know, he's just so close. And oh my gosh, he's just so cute. Well, unfortunately, here's where things just get crazy for me. I'll go ahead and insert the video here. Sure. Okay, cool. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Speak to me. Speak to me in the acting. Say something else. Oh, she's loved you for years. Hello, <laughs> <hi>. <laughs> 
pictures on the wall. Matter of fact, <laughs> please keep talking to me. Not saying it. You just keep on. <laughs> In that moment of actually meeting him, I was probably, that was probably, sadly enough, one of my happiest moments in life. I just loved him for so long. So I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but I had waited all these years to meet this man, right? And once I did, I could not say anything. I was so nervous, excited, upset that I didn't have stitchy makeup on and I looked the way I did. Isn't that what happens? The one time you don't like put on your makeup or make yourself look nice and you run to Walmart just real quick, you see everybody you know, including your ex-boyfriend and, oh gosh. It felt like one of those moments. So in the video, he's like, keep talking, I wanna hear you talk. And I'm like, okay. That's when Spencer stepped in and said, she's loved you forever. She used to have posters on a while. And at that point, I thought I was gonna cry because I was just, he looked up at me with that smile. Oh! When he looked up at me with that smile, oh my gosh, I thought I was dead. <laughs> And then right before we're going to take the picture, I say that stupid remark about, I'm so upset I don't have any makeup on. Like, he even cares. He is just ready to get on the bus and probably take a nap. Anyway, it was short. It was sweet. It was embarrassing for me when I look back on it. But it's one of those moments that I'll just remember forever. Oh, and let me show you. I don't know if it's a glare or not, but of course I have this. There's our picture together. There's a patch that I got the first time I went to London. There's a membership card for the Ritz and the guitar pick that I caught. And he said, and then on this he wrote, Amanda, thanks for everything. Like, no problem you're welcome anytime so that was the time that I met the man who was my boyfriend in my mind from the time I was 16 years old and don't even go in that comment section and be like oh you were cute that was sweet that's okay no put yourself in my place and see how you would have felt if you look back and that's how you acted during that moment oh my gosh so instead of leaving that, just go to the comment section and tell me about an embarrassing time you had. Have you ever met a celebrity and acted like a complete moron? Why do we even do that? Why do you turn into a complete buffoon when you're around somebody like that? Why <laughs> they're just another person? Why can't you act normal? <sighs> Such is my life. I've never really been normal anyway, so. I guess it happened the way it was supposed to. Oh, and I didn't even tell you this story of we stayed out there so late that they like closed down the parking lot and the people who were out there with us waiting, like the 10 other people, they locked the gates and everybody was trapped inside. So we had to like figure out a way to maneuver some gates and fences and cones and stuff to be able to get out. So <laughs> waiting around to see Gavin kept us trapped in a parking lot, but we were able to get out at the end of the night. Anyway, it was so much fun. When I look back at the video now, I'm so embarrassed. I probably have not watched that video since like two or three days after I recorded it, after it was recorded. I actually just found the video on our laptop that was stored in the barn, so I'm surprised it even still works. But now you guys have seen my embarrassing story. I know fruit was so good. <laughs> yeah, I love fruit. The blueberries could be better if they were fresh, so I don't think I will eat those. 
All right, I'm going to get going. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If there are any other stories or topics you want to hear from me, leave those in the comments down below as well. Hopefully, if you're here, you're already subscribed. If you're not, please consider doing so. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.